All right, folks. So I just kind of uh, reviewed the original video, and uh, I apologize, but it did not seem to go as far as the pink. Um, well, the magenta, whatever. So, since I left you guys earlier, I finished the light blue, and I moved on to the Kafka number one. Uh, I decided to add a fourth color, which is a magenta. Uh, to me, it just looks like a really bright pink. Um, I didn't know that the camera wasn't going to film all of it, so let me show you where we're at. So... That's what it's looking like now. And I am on the last few finishing strokes. So I just wanted to make sure you guys uh, get to see what is happening. <clears throat> um, I do appreciate everybody following me and, and all the feedback. And you guys are really, really cool. Um, So, I added some doodads, some color. At this point, I'm going to add a wrap around here, kind of the top middle. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, you load your brush really good. Try not to reduce it too much if possible because it'll start to take some of this paint off with the reducer, with the mineral spirits. And what you want to do is give yourself a nice chiseled tip by knocking off some of the paint there off the tip and quite gently get on the very very corner here go out and push down during the middle and then lift back up and stop before it gets into the design there same thing right underneath it lightly pull out push down and lift back up keeping in mind the same width of each wrap and making sure you're going the same direction and keeping the same distance between them to kind of really give the illusion of it wrapping around. All right. Now they have to kind of have to end right where the original line that it's wrapping around begins, or else it won't look like it's wrapping around it. Um, you can add a beginning and an end if you'd like. Sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes I just like the way it looks there sometimes I'll do three sometimes I'll do two I think I'm gonna do one or two more since I don't plan on giving it a beginning or an end it's just gonna look like it starts and ends behind the design these took me quite a while to figure out but I think a lot of it had to do with over reducing And um, here, if you see, there's that little gap. What I'm going to do is I'll grab one of these popsicle sticks and I'll squeegee out all that paint to where there's a nice little puddle. Right? So that has left a little puddle there. I don't know if you can see that. And what I'll do is I'll dip my paintbrush in there. Not the brush, the handle. The back end of the handle that's why it's pointy I think and I'll put one dot right there and the next one should be quite consistent and I'm going to use that to give myself a little dot right in the middle and that kind of gives me a connection between those two original uh, teardrop shapes I'm going to clean it up a little bit Again, try not to pallet it right next to the design because you will get a little paint splatter, generally. Um, I only did that so you guys could watch me do 
the whole process. Unfortunately, my camera cut out a few minutes of it, so you didn't get a chance to see the all of the pink getting down. I apologize. I do use my phone for the camera, so sometimes it acts up. And the less paint I get on my hands and the handle, the less chance of fingerprints. So let's take a look at the finished design. And that is what we have created. Hopefully uh, this has been useful for you guys. If you have any questions or requests, just let me know. Um, I'll be more than glad to help. And just so I don't have to scrape it off later. Pour a little bit of mineral spirits on there and we'll get rid of it. I know that'll hurt you guys a little. I'm sorry. It hurts me more than it hurts you. Alright. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you.